Hello there, Mr. Hiatus here, and today I'll be talking about two games, Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania. Of course, I'll be talking about Sonic Mania first because I just want to, okay? Just let me do what I want. Anywho, Sonic Mania introduced three recreated levels and two bonus stages, one of them being a new one. Uh, but let me talk about the stages. So, of course, we have Green Hill Zone Act 2, which has a boss which is pretty different from any other boss because it actually moves and the screen moves as well so you're not in one plane it's so unique am i right guys but seriously um it looks like a pretty challenging fight and um i can't wait to battle it when i get to green hill zone act two for a chemical zone act one and two they look pretty cool as well with mechanics like gel we're pretty much if, you, if there's blue gel, it bounces you up a bit, but it doesn't bounce you up higher to any higher platforms. However, if you're green gel, then it would bounce you up to higher places. I don't know if you have to press A to bounce high with the green gel, or it just happens randomly, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. And the level design in this stage, both stages actually, are pretty convoluted. They have a bunch of stuff going on, and it, it's kind of like this where do I go kind of fiasco. I'm sure it's probably going to be easier than it looks, but right now from what I see, uh, it kind of looks confusing, especially seeing how it takes five minutes for the guy to do it, even though the average Sonic stage should be like three minutes to beat. But hey, he's probably just traversing around the stage, probably can do it faster. But uh, I digress. With the bonus stages, it has Sonic 3 bonus stages, and also a new one, which is pretty much inspired by the best game ever, Sonic 3D Blast, and two other games called Sonic CD and Sonic 3. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty fun. I'm not sure if they're going to be that easy to control, because by looking at the gameplay, like the person that's showing the gameplay, he's messing up a lot getting into those um, places where it slows you down or, I don't know, loses those blue gels. But maybe it might be easier to control if I actually played it, but... Hey, um, it's just something that I might think would happen if I were to play these stages. But they look decent. And of course, with the Sonic 3 stages, they're fun. I, I like Sonic 3 stages. They're really fun. So yeah, now time for Sonic Forces. Next, I'm going to be talking about Sonic Forces. Of course, they don't really show anything new other than two bosses and their patterns. One being a pretty cool boss, where it starts with the classic Sonic gist of Dr. Robotnik having some boulder, this time a saw of death, trying to swing back and forth to hurt Sonic, but then after that gets to the Egg Dragon, which is a pretty sick fight, but um, looking at it more, it looks more like a weight game until Dr. Robotnik shows those black things where you pretty much just shoot them on him. I don't know, maybe it might be funner than it looks, but hey, it just looks kind of dumb. But hey, it's pretty ch more challenging than the best boss fight of all time. Spider guy that you have to run from from the many hazards that he puts, and a last quick time event, which pretty much has you timing it right. S seriously, why did they gave this? How could they do this to the DeviantArt character? It's just, it's just so, it's why? Why did they do this to him? I mean, he he was building up to be a soldier. Drawing pictures, but he he was a soldier and, and now he's to do a like run from hazards and then just do a quick time event for his first boss. Just a disgrace, man. And Sonic's gameplay is just the exact same thing, except this time you have the counter showing what's on the interface. Like for time, rings, and the Wisp Meter, which is um, also for the original character, but this time it shows a gun, meaning that the Wisp power-ups are going to his gun and doing different effects when Sonic uses them by um, having one of the examples being boost, pretty much boosting him up to larger distances. And um, even though the original character's use is pretty unique, the other uses are just going to be overdone, and I have no idea why they're bringing the Wisp for every game that they make. I mean, what's your fascination with Wisp, Sega? You used it in Sonic Colors. 
It was great. You're overusing it. Come on. But yeah, um, and the classic sound of gameplay is very similar to last time, except this time they're showing the boss battle that was just briefly shown um, last time. So yeah, um, it looks pretty decent and promising, but um, I hope that both of the games, especially Sonic Forces, are really good games because they can help Sonic from a long way from uh, his downfall from games like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Anyways, this has been a video for me, and I am back from hiatus.